Now that we've seen what the movie clip loader class and its objects and the my and the listener object is in place, now what we're going to do is to work with external variables and the load vars class. Now the load var class, just as we did with the movie clip loader class, will create an instance of it effectively creating an object associated with the load var class. Now before we do that, one thing that I would like to do is to keep things a little bit neat. So in order to do so, we can just write out some very simple comments in here. And I can write start MCL for the beginning of the MCL information. And right after the listener, I'm going to just copy this information and paste it here. And we'll say end MCL. So that way, everybody will know where the beginning and where the end of this information actually is and how it's going to work for us. Um, at the same time, here it's got my MCL load clip. I'm just going to write a little comment to ourselves saying load the SWF. All right. Now, once that's done, let's start out some comments here, which are going to um, give us some information about the load vars. So I'm going to say load. Well, actually, we should say start load var. Start the load var. And we can also just backslash that. I'll copy this. And we're going to paste in end load var. And in between these two comments, we're going to write out our load var information. Now, what exactly are we doing with this load vars? Well, if we take a look at our files, and if we go into the killer site starter set again, um, what we're going to see here is that there is a folder called vars, or variables. Um, in it, there are a bunch of txt files, just simple plain text files. If you open up one of them, for example, if we open up the killer sites, which is the first load var, um, here is Notepad, and I'm just going to squeeze this in place so you can read it. Maybe I'll make the text a little bit smaller so you can see that too. All right, so what you should see right at this point is um, something that looks somewhat like HTML because you know we've got some HTML tags in here like the text format and paragraphs and a tags for links and stuff like that. But unlike a HTML file, it starts with info. And it says info equals. In other words, what I'm doing here is info is representing a variable. And the variables info the variable info, the uh, value for info is all of this information here. And this information happens to be styled with um, HTML tags throughout. Now, as we'll eventually see a little bit later on, we're going to learn how to not only use this as HTML, but also we're going to learn how to style this with CSS as well. So, just to orient you, the info variable is written inside the txt file. Incidentally, all of our text files start with info. This is just a simple and easy way to make sure that we can use the same movie clip loader, uh, excuse me, the same load var um, class or object that we're using um, for all of our movies. And anytime we call the load var, we're going to specify info. You can make things a little bit more um, flexible if you need, but at this point, this is all we really need to do beginning starts with info and incidentally it doesn't have to be info it could be any variable you want it could be display it could be uh, you know information whatever it doesn't matter info is not something that's specific to make this work it's just the name of the variable